Here to talk to NTD's Don Ma more about the CPI number is Chance Finucane. He's the chief investment officer at investment advisory firm Oxbow Advisors. Chance, thanks for joining us today. So, you know, inflation came down a bit from 9.1 percent. Consumer price index at 8.5 percent, still very high, though. But do you see this as a sign that inflation is starting to ease? We do think inflation is going to start decelerating from here, but it's going to be at a slow pace. You might still see a couple more monthly readings of inflation above 8 percent. And then even at the end of this year, we would expect inflation to stay above 7 percent, as well as core inflation without energy and food being involved, being above 5 percent. So when we looked at this reading today, what we noticed was the oil price having come down helped in that regard. And that's why you saw inflation coming lower. But then you saw food prices increase by nearly 11 percent year over year, along with a lot of inflation in other areas. So we don't think this is nearly as much of a, a bullish thing for the equity market as what we're seeing uh, stocks react to post the uh, release of the inflation report. How long are we away from the Fed's 2 percent target? That could be a while. Uh, it, you're still looking at even second quarter of next year, you might still be at a 4 or 5 percent inflation rate. So maybe towards the end of 2023. but. It's going to be a difficult situation for them because right now you're in a spot where they may need to pause at some point, They're likely to raise rates in September and probably again in November. But at some point, if you start to see a lot more of an economic slowdown and unemployment start increasing towards the end of this year, they may have to pivot and pause on their hikes. But you may still have the inflation rate at a pretty high level, and it's going to put them in a difficult bind as to which one they want to promote pulling down inflation or trying to promote employment. So for the rest of this year, Chance, what are some important indicators you're looking at? Sure. What we're looking at is both the purchasing managers index for manufacturers, uh, that number that gets released at the start of every month. And within that report, there's a couple of other numbers, the new orders number and the inventories number. And when you see new orders coming down and inventories going up, that's a bad sign for future economic growth. And right now, that's looking pretty shaky. The other thing we're looking at is we're tracking unemployment claims. Uh, we, we're curious about uh, starting to see those numbers starting to rise, and we think that could accelerate higher over the course of the next six months. And that could be something that changes the tone of investors' uh, view on the market, where they become less worried about inflation and more worried about recession. I see. All right. Just one last question, Chance. How are you advising your clients to position their portfolios based on your outlook of the economy? We're telling our, our clients and the way we're positioning their portfolios is to be very cautious right now, especially with the equity market at its current levels. We don't think there's much upside in stocks from here. We actually like the setup for both short and long term treasuries. So we've been buying um, treasuries both at the short end and at the long end of the curve. And otherwise, we're keeping a pretty high ratio of cash in the portfolios because we're just not seeing the opportunities that we would like to have uh, and think this might be a time where it's best place to stay patient uh, and defensive. And if you are going to own any stocks, stick with very high quality businesses that have high profit margins, low debt and can still generate some steady growth. Great. Thank you very much for your insight. Chance Finucane, Chief Investment Officer, Oxbow Advisors. Thank you very much for coming on today. Thank you, Don.